and it blew up for whatever reason like it, it no. blew up i don't know why naked hot <laughs> cartoons a big busty beautiful women blew up this is the band calabrese i am bobby i'm davy and we got jimmy here eh. as a bat and get out of here bat. you can't get out of it yet and this is the mystic cult of horrors podcast episode 50 we got a good one for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, baby. Introducing the diabolical doodle himself, the king of the naughty 90s. Let's welcome to the show, Matthew Skiff. All right. Yeah, hey. Applause. Hello. Whoa. Freaking there he is. The diabolical doodler. I kind of like that. That's pretty funny. So, for everybody. Yeah. Uh, so we're at the top of the podcast. For everybody who doesn't know who the fuck you are, Matthew, can you give everybody a synopsis, your Wikipedia and audio form? Why are you here? Why do we love you? Sell yourself. Why are you in the IKEA uh, showroom back there? It looks like you're hanging out in IKEA. Uh, wow, that's embarrassing. No. <laughs> um, it looks nice. I love it. Yeah. Who am I? I am a, a guy that draws things. That's about, that's about it. Skip! <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, most importantly, now I draw um, naked women, pretty much. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or half yeah, naked yeah. women. We got that. The naughty ninety. There. Naked, yeah, naughty, dirty, dirty. <laughs> yeah, it's on your wiki. <laughs> yeah. So okay. All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there. I mean, I mean, what else? What else do you need, right? Not much. No. <laughs> I pretty much sit here seven days a week, um, all day. <laughs> Oh my god! And draw. So yeah, that's pretty I much all I do. Go to the bathroom. Hey, uh, no. <laughs> you self-described yourself on the internet as a loser. I uh-huh. don't think you're a loser, Matthew. I think well, the you're way- a winner. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, I was. <laughs> that is the definition I like to put out there. Um, uh, I guess you'll find out if I am or not, right? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, you're you're so elusive, like. Is this your first? This has to be your first. This is on camera thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I like to hide behind the. I let the art do the talking for me usually. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, is it? Is this a, the first time I've ever, literally ever seen you? I know you've done a lot of work for Calibri's. I thought you were gonna look like He Man just based on all your. <laughs> no way, really. All your artwork. I thought you were a mixture of some big buff dude with a. I get like a bigger, I get bigger and hairier for sure. And I'm definitely not that. Um, yeah, there's like very few pictures of me. Um, I think I wiped my entire Instagram of any photo of me like a couple years ago. Um, you know, just to keep the whole mysterious facade going. Cause I think that's pretty interesting. He's like the gorillas or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah we, we we've you were like one of the first like people that hired me to do work like to bug years and years work. ago like i was still in colorado and that was like 10 12 years ago i think so it's yeah. been a while guys yes, dear mr blog. skiff your artwork's so cool <laughs> Can you do something for us we, we discovered you on a glorious website that R.I.P. Rest in peace. MTs. R.I.P. Um, R.I.P. And <laughs> MTV. M M T S. MVP. Okay. <laughs> um, e M P T E E S for everybody else. Oh, MTs. Yes. Um, so I found that website. I'm like, oh, this is fantastic. Like people do a bunch of artwork, and you just like, it's like a giant portfolio, and it's like uh, it's like Tumblr, but. You could talk to these people and they'll they'll do stuff for you. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I'm like, oh shit! Look at all this stuff. It's fantastic. Uh, you know, you caught her eye. Bing, bada, boom. And um, yeah, what was the first one? It could have been the uh, the girl with the arms. Is yeah, I think it was the girl with the six arms. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. When I was just when I was just slowly dabbling in the uh, women drawing. Like that was like a long, long time, slowly, slowly doing it. Cause you know, I would always do, uh, like pop culture stuff like He-Man or whatever, mostly He-Man stuff. But yeah, I was just dabbling into, into that field long, long, long time ago. Yeah. So, all right. I, I saw, I saw this like thing you saw on Twitter. I couldn't find the exact quote, 
It was from a while ago. You're right. uh, I say so much, so much ridiculous oh, stuff. Oh, on God, I know. <laughs> I cap it all. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. Your Twitter is amazing. Um, you said something about how, like, uh, ever since the panorama, you just decided to uh, just draw a bunch of naked ladies. and Wait, pan- pandemic? Yes. <laughs> I said panorama. I know. That's, a, that's an internet thing. Oh. Um, so, yeah, like, you just got bored and you're like, you know what? Dita Von Tees is pretty cool. Let's try and draw her. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, there's a couple reasons. I'll give a serious reason and the funner reason. But uh, yes. <laughs> let's start with the funner reason, I guess, would be um, I spent so much of my life drawing the same pop culture characters over and over and over again. <laughs> I thought I was going to kill myself the next time I had to draw another pop culture character. I was just like, I can't do it again. And like, I do that for um, like my freelance work, like day job stuff. So like, I'm not going to want to do that anymore, spending it on my free time. So I'm like, what do I like? Like, I always liked going to like burlesque shows. Like I've seen the Dita Von T show like multiple, multiple times. Uh, um, heavily into like pinup art, like uh, Gil Evgren, um, you know, that kind of stuff. And then into like fetish art too, like John Willie. So I was just like, you know, what? let me just, let me just dabble more into this kind of Woo! stuff. So, um, 90s, baby. that's the fun part. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm, I don't want to go too far into this next part, but I'll just give you a little peek behind the curtain. Um, <laughs> <laughs> A, a relationship ended. So it, it was a way of me kind of working through that as well. So, you know, on the, on the surface level, you can kind of see it's like fun, like, like naked women, like wearing like, like whatever. There's a little bit of a darker side to it. There's a little bit more of a seriousness to it that I'm working through. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, okay. All right. You see, murder? No, he didn't murder her. <laughs> see, all these people in his photos are like murder victims. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, yeah. Do you ever get sick of people saying, "Did you? Are you Mister He Man? You did you invent He Man? <laughs> are you the He Man guy?" It got. It was to the point where, like, I felt like a little bit of a fraud, you know, because I was drawing all, all everybody else's uh, like uh, art. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I wanted to kind of. F- figure out my voice like i'm didn't feel like i was fulfilled with what i was doing so a little bit of trauma a little bit of fun mix that together and (laughs) that's what we have now and it blew and it blew up for whatever reason like it it blew up i don't know why naked hot (laughs) cartoons a big busty beautiful women Blew up? Well, okay. So you are you already popping, right? Like yeah, this guy's popping, popping, popping with that pop, <laughs> popping with the pop culture stuff. Yeah. But then um, you took a breakup, and you say, you know, fuck this. <laughs> I'm gonna. I would say you're drawing your ideal like lady, right? All right. It's like the ideal. Like it. I find that a lot of artists, um, if they if they're, if they're girls and they're drawing pinups, they're literally drawing themselves, like how they want to see themselves, and. Uh, taken, scout here. Uh, take Psychology. It from, yes, take it from what you said. That, that could be your ide- ideal girl because I would dabble in like painting and stuff as well. And I absolutely love pinups. Hence, why we while we do the things. We yeah. do. No, what is it? And um, yeah, it just it just worked. And like, yeah, you're just drawing the ideal. That's like the that's the girl, baby. That's the girl. And then at the end. Like Dave, I'm sure you do too. You get your drawing, oh, and then you're like, oh, I love you. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> I mean, uh, sell it. <laughs> so I, 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 uh, he kisses his paintings. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, you're, you're, then, you're, then your pinups uh, blew up on all like, you know, spooky Instagrams yeah. and Tumblrs and Twitters. Um, have you ever thought of like, just like making a tiny little Matthew Skiff water, like your little signature, like hide it somewhere on uh, one of your pieces you put up. Cause those things just like they just yeah. go around and I come across them um, every now and then like scrolling on Tumblr. Yes. I still use Tumblr a lot. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, your Tumblr is and- amazing too. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I see them posted like when I, on the accounts that I follow and they have like, 
tens of thousands of shares. I'm just like, and my name's not even on. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> From here on out, Skiff, <laughs> yeah. Like, just slam your little like skiff. Just like, oh no, it's it's Tithu or T H U. So uh, we'll, let, let, we'll put a pin in that because <laughs> people get it wrong. But let, let me finish this. Um, I've thought about it, but I also th- I think it kind of ruins the art Ooh. a little bit it kind of makes it a little i don't know it, it it just i like it to look clean and <laughs> and no words nothing just the art so the smart thing to do would be to plaster my name all over that shit but um <laughs> yeah um i I don't do it because I'm an idiot. So um, <laughs> it's too late. You well, can't go back. Well, I can't. No, you can't go back. But there's always the next day. You know, there's today. He's a man of the people. You you take your nap, your third nap, and then <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a nap after this podcast. Definitely. I, I haven't been up this. Now. I haven't been up this early to do anything that wasn't like a traveling in a long time. So um, six at night. What are you talking? <laughs> Everyone's like, but, what the fuck. When I, when I also when I started doing this stuff, I had like that skull logo that I used to have, and it really didn't kind of fit with uh, the new art that I was doing. So, you know, in in between, like when I started doing this new art and stuff, I transitioned kind of to the little devil guy. Um, but to, to okay, so to go to the, my name that you're talking about, so people say the W like. T eight like the, um, Thu whatever. So what it is is it's Thu. So it's the last half of my name, and I'll tell you the story on how I got it. Uh, so they're like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. There was a, a one time when I was still living at home, um, and my sister called me Matt for some reason, and it, and she never called me that, and it just sounded so fucking weird. So I was like, don't don't ever call me that again. And I was like, you know what? Call me. Theo, call me Theo, and then and then it just stuck. So like she calls me that, like my cousins call me that, um, and that's where the name came from. Dude, a birth, the birth of a supervillain or something. You know? <laughs> call me Theo. Just a, ti- just a tiny little water. I, I know what you're talking about. Like you like it clean. It's a tiny little watermark. It's like it's there, but not. I feel the same. I do that with um. I make uh, memes, Calabrese memes, and I'm like. Sometimes when people make their goddamn memes, they slap their fucking at mm-hmm. right on it. Mm-hmm. Like, Dude, hide your little mm-hmm. at. If you're going to put your at somewhere, hide it in the middle somewhere. Bing, bada, boom. But yeah, for you, yeah, definitely. Um, but, you know. Oh, to you, go back to the, to go, sorry, to go back to the meme. Yeah. Did you make, did you, were you the creator of that spooky nerds meme? Um. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> so I love that meme. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, if you're the first one to see it, I guess maybe. Or if you that, if you start, that's your first introduction. I that is the first introduction. So yeah. Good job. I mean, and, and the and the one I use has your has the the name on it. So <laughs> the internet. It was uh you know <laughs> yeah um we're living in a meme culture and <laughs> that was inspired by another meme. It was like uh yeah it was like. What was it like a photo of spooky nerds and it says the caption was like uh, we prefer to be called goths and so I just like okay that's cool but let's do a different spin like with memes and so I just like similar photo but same um, and there you go we get it you're awesome <laughs> about it bro <laughs> bobby today i swear to god I can i not can i not ask questions to you guys either oh, you baby, yeah I don't know what... <laughs> yes ask away um what do you shampoo <laughs> your hair with <laughs> oh that's good for him oh uh that's <laughs> blood come on bobby. <laughs> yeah. get on it that's All the right. right answer yeah no you yeah, have bats blood but i'll soon. soon. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybelline. Was Maybelline? What is that? Oh, that's makeup. That's makeup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Pert Plus. Oh, all the classics. Oh, that's real. He's actually Suave. giving real things. No more tears? Oh. <laughs> and, uh, well, I want to uh, talk about, because this has been very, uh, what do you call it? Um, lucrative for you. Bad girls NFTs, oh, non fungible yeah. tokens for all those playing at home. NFT, am I right? WTF, what does it mean? Tell us more. 
Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> now because I'm, the, from, the, I'm familiar with it, and the, the, that's like your yeah, thing you're pushing right now. Deep dive. We know NSFW, no, not safe for work. We know mm-hmm. NDA, non disclosure agreement. We know NKOTB, new kids on the block, of course. NFT, non fungible token. I know the words, but nobody knows what the fuck it is. So uh, digital assets. <laughs> let the master speak. Master. I wouldn't call myself a master by any means, but uh, um, so. <laughs> I think back in like maybe June, um, one of my uh, good artist friends, Brian Romero, who does a lot of artwork for like like death or used to do a lot of artwork for like Death Wish skateboards and stuff like that, and now he's doing a bunch of freelance, um, was trying to get me in on this, and I'm like, I don't know what the hell that shit is. I don't I don't know what that means. I'm not gonna do it. So then like months went by, months went by, months went by to the point where it was like in August, he literally had to come to my apartment sit me down and help me set everything up to do it um and so i could figure it out but i still didn't understand what it was and then um i started doing it and i'm like oh i can sell art and make a good enough amount of money um and not have to ship out posters or deal with the, the like post office or do anything and I'm like, oh, this is great. And then I started getting into collecting other artists myself. It, it's all of a sudden became kind of an addicting thing for me. But uh, I still don't quite understand it either. <laughs> like, <it's, laughs> I'm just buying things. I'm just, I'm just buying cool art. Um, people sometimes buy my stuff and then I make money and then they make money. And then I make money when they make money. So it's all great. Oh, <laughs> circle of life. Yeah, it's a uh, it gets a bad rap, I think, because people don't quite understand it. Um, but it's really beneficial to us artists because we get to keep control of our art and um, make money off of um, sales in perpetuity. So like a year, two years down when people start trading and selling, um, I'll still be making money. But I would equate it to something like you're collecting cards or something um and one's valuable more valuable than the other and then you're trading with your friends um that kind of thing interesting oh yeah it, it's like trading art and then it's gone forever or wait no, it's not gone well, it it's... kind of feels like um like digital downloads for music like but yeah uh, you you buy the you buy the digital download it's not yours but you could still listen to it right it's um, yours I don't know. Yes, don't but know. but the, the oh, but right. So that's like the deal. I get it. Yeah. The benefit for the people that buy um, the art is they can resell it and they can make money off of it, and then I'll make money off of their resell, like a smaller percentage. Okay. okay. Um, so you know, can trade hands hands a bunch bunch of times, and then I can benefit from it. <laughs> man, that's a beautiful thing, man. It is. It is. It is. Because I've been in this industry for too long, and I'm sick and tired of working seven days a week, like all day. I just want. I just want a break. You know what I mean? I want to be able to like sit for like a few days and not have to work. Um, that's helped me out a little bit. Yeah. 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 I, don't, I, yeah. I see people talking about it for uh, music and stuff like that. I'm like, ah, I don't know. I'm not comfortable enough to like dive into that just yet. Um, yeah, I feel you. I haven't um, put out some of the more personal pieces for that very reason because I kind of just want to keep them, you know, for myself. So mm. I get it. Yeah. Oh, and you you also have a TikTok, but you've only like uploaded one thing. <laughs> oh, you do. It took me like a half a day to do that fucking thing. Like, I don't want to do that ever again. <laughs> um, well, since you like a time lapse would be good. Uh, yeah. Time lapses. Uh, yeah. So, I also I do like to keep a little bit of mystery still. Oh, that is true. Keep the skiff. I'm all about the mystery. Like you don't you don't understand how rare this is right now and how um um scary it is. I guess for me. <laughs> so um, but I'm working through it. Okay, I'm working through it. Yeah. Now we gotta. We, get, we appreciate you for coming. Yeah. We gotta, and for the benefit of our audience, we have to squeeze all the details out of this mystery man. <laughs> so with that, let's do rapid fire. Rapid fire, real quick. Go for it. You got the word. We got the rapid fire. Real rapid fire. Quick questions. All right. Three. <laughs> Three, two, one. Favorite Ninja Turtle. Go. Donatello. Favorite He-Man character. Skeletor. 
Mulder or Scully? <laughs> Scully. Peanut butter or jelly? <laughs> jelly. And your favorite, last but not least, Taco Bell colon cleanser item off their menu. Go. Uh, the double decker, but they took it off the menu and I'm pissed. Me and me and me and Taco Bell are fighting right now because like <laughs> I love that. You, they have the ingredients. Why would you take it off the menu? You know, it's just beans, taco, and tortilla. And they take it off the menu. And they won't make it for you. They won't fucking make it. Can you not combine the ingredients? Like, but, ingredients but like that one. And uh. the whole point is the food is ready and fast for you. I don't want to have to. I don't have to do the work. When I'm when I'm going to Taco Bell, I'm usually like already in a bad spot, so I just want to like <laughs> do it. Now I go to talk. I go to Taco Bell every Friday, two o'clock. Usually not no misses. It's just my my little week treat, end of the week treat um, that I do for myself. But uh, yeah, colon cleanser is funny. My body is a Taco Bell machine. Like I can handle anything now. So just I'm I'm good. I'm good on that. You are a lean, mean fighting machine. <laughs> yeah. Look at you. Did you like a model? To, I don't, everyone watching, just a model. We're talking to. You, no, I will give them that. I didn't think. I thought you were coming out looking like Fabio or freaking <laughs> Jason Statham or something. But no, he came out looking like freaking heart, 90s heartthrob oh, from go. freaking... I was going to be like, what, what are you, you going to say? What are you going to say? I know. You look like you're on the set of Melrose Place. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Johnny oh, Depp. Yeah. Oh, J- JD, baby. From the, the Freddy Krueger series. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I need more like scarves and like jewelry and stuff like oh, that. Or yeah, maybe that the, so. 80s JD. <laughs> the, um, yeah, well, I, yeah I, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You squeeze the info. Squeeze it. We had the master on the line. Yes. Um, God, what was it? You were talking to General Mills. And oh. And you said, hey. Is, is he in the army? No. Oh, <laughs> you said, hey, General Mills. General Mills reporting. <laughs> we want uh, holiday Christmas monsters. And they're like, right? yeah, all right. That sounds good. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> this motherfucker got General Mills on the line. Yeah, got, give me, give me the, yeah. give me so, the general on, on the whole. If, <laughs> if you see that come next year, like, thank me. I was the person that did that. I was the reason that happened. Dude, okay. Imagine this. All right. Uh, if you have like the time, squeeze out some. He doesn't. He doesn't. Chris works seven days a week. Okay, get, let me give him the idea. <laughs> Free idea. Hundred million dollars. Um, like sexy uh, monster. Oh yeah, you could do Taco Bell. Taco Bell item. Sexy Taco Bell. I'm down. <laughs> sexy Taco. Se- there's sexy Taco Bell. Uh, Senorita. Um, that'd be cool. But like the like a sexy, a Christmassy monsters because you've done the monsters already. But like sexy girls, and then like at freaking General Mills and see like, hey, see, this is awesome. And then you. You inadvertently also show General Mills how great of an artist you are, and they're like, "Hey, you know what? Maybe we'll pay this guy a couple bucks, and we'll throw this, we'll throw this on the box. Wouldn't that be amazing? Dude, that would be amazing. Could you imagine? What? Yeah, you got. You like, got to sign it. What, you have to sign it. <laughs> hey, hey, I'll hide. I'll hide it in there for sure. Yeah. Multiple ideas going through my head. Hey, wouldn't it be awesome if you they hired Gen- Mr. General Mills? Uh, the army hired you to create like big buff boo berry or something. It's fucking boo berry. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Big, or yeah, the new um Taco Bell sexy promotion pinup Taco Bell <laughs> ladies. You know the Chalupa Ooh. lady or something. She's all super hot. <laughs> oh yeah, um the dog. <laughs> But oh, yeah, sexy, sexy dog. You'll care about Taco Bell dog. <laughs> <laughs> but you got a little like. You'll care Taco nose. Bell. Oh my god, fantastic. No, like I, I wanna, I wanna design the box if they do it. That's what I want to do. Like, so I'm, I might just do it and then see if they want, see if they want it. Exactly. Exactly. That's like. <laughs> Just force it down. That would be that would be like one of my biggest like dreams ever is to design the box for those things. Like that'd be amazing. Oh, call, call up we got the army. Connects. Call the general. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's like what, what? What is that? I think one of those like good moves people should do more often. It's like you want to work for yada yada. Just do the thing for free. <laughs> Show them you could do it, <laughs> and then they're like, oh, I don't. Oh, the hardest part about art and all that shit is the direction. Like, what, uh, sexy lady, please. Um, <laughs> but how, why, uh, you know, so you just figure it all out. Yeah. Lay out the whole box. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Blueberry. This yeah. is going to work. <laughs> this is, yeah. Well, we're doing this, right? We're doing it. Dude. Blueberry. Oh, count. No, 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 no. This is fantastic. Okay. Hey, wait, ha- sorry. Have you guys done like, why haven't you, there's three of you. Why haven't you done like a monster cereal, like parody 
t-shirt or something like that there's you got your ch- count chocula your your frankenberry and your booberry why haven't you done that gifts at it the master's back <laughs> we already got we already got you to do monster squad yeah. castlevania monster squad castlevania what other uh, inter- what other international or uh, intele- intellectual properties we can steal <laughs> ninja turtle type stuff um yeah oh straight up dracula yeah, we did, uh, yeah. What do we do? Yeah, we did everything. That's a good idea. All right, good, good, good. <laughs> a little brain, little brain. Yeah, a little brain stuff. Skip storm, baby. Like I could totally see it. Like uh, you know, you draw like if the box or like the sexy uh, Christmas monster ladies, and then you put it on Instagram and put your name, and um, and then General Mills gets a hold of it, and they're like, so I ha- so I, ha- I have this theory, right? So. You see all these people getting the the ecto cooler mailed to them mm. all the time, and like I'm so I'm feel left out because I feel like I deserve one. Yeah, but I have a theory Man. because you know you go to my Twitter, you go to my Instagram, and it's all like boobs and butts. Like I'm not gonna get that. <laughs> oh, you! I'm pissed. Sexy Slimer. Matt, <laughs> freaking uh, Master Dracula got one right. Yeah, he did. Dude, just, yeah, he did. Just he did. My, my really close friend Roger from what the heck? My um, good close friend Roger from I, I, I Mockery got one. Um, oh. A couple other people. Um, I'm it. pissed. Gotta get it. I'm pissed. For just for um, promotion. Promotion. They, but it. there's like they're not talking about how people are getting them or um, yeah. why they're sending them. They're just sending them out. So um, I mean, I deserve Sorry. one. Skiff, you dance with the devil. You got too close to the sun or something. <laughs> yeah. Those little boobies and nippies and booties and no 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 like um no you're right your wouldn't. your Twitter is chock full of that '90s goodness and Act the Cooler is '90s 80. shit yeah, yeah it's in that area yeah yeah sure. and like um like even Casey Casey the homicidal homemaker she got one I think she got one as well so if, if she got one <laughs> you can get one let's make the, oh. I mean we got one get her get her <laughs> grab them over there let's show them yeah fifty of them. Huh? <laughs> 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 they fell off the truck. Yeah. Hey, a couple of cartons of cigarettes, uh, some ecto cooler. Some- Wait, hold, hold, you want to see something nerdy? Let me, let me show you something real quick. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Nerd! While Matthew Skiff is away, what he doesn't I know like his IKEA set. is he we replaced his seat with a whoopee cushion. <laughs> Wait, what about anything else? Yeah. Skip on it. Hey, so, Skipster. I have way more than just this, but um, yeah, I have, I have, I still have stacks, uh, stacks of this in my, oh, in my, uh, there you go. <laughs> in my closet, just hanging out for whatever reason. I don't know, but I just kept a bunch of them. So, I, I wonder if they're still good. I'm hoping Probably not, right? That's like they're like five years old, I think. Whatever the last Ghostbusters movie came out, but uh, don't do it. Oh wow, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping like when the yeah, don't do it. <laughs> when the I hope when the nukes drop and we're all like in bunkers and like that'll be like, the, like the the oh, wine, the, the most expensive part. wine, <laughs> like yeah. every yeah. Uh, um, in the uh, yeah, the outback in the freaking wastelands, like. Dude, you got that Active that cool. ancient 1985 Echo <laughs> Cool. It'll get you fucked up. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, yeah. What do we do? Oh, yeah. Time wise. All right. So, we're going to get spooky. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> because this is the Calibre's <laughs> Mystical Horrors. Let's get spooky. Matthew Skiff of Sexy Girls and, <laughs> and Pop Culture Big Madness. He Man. <laughs> yeah. um, do you have a ghost story? So, is yeah. So, <laughs> I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, 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 I am very skeptical on ghosts. Um, no? I don't necessarily believe in ghosts, but I feel like I have seen ghosts, even though I don't believe them. But because I chalk it up to like. So Scully, you know, you said Mulder or Scully. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm very much Scully, and the things can be explained. Of course. So, in my old apartment, this isn't these aren't really scary, but I'll just tell you them. In my old apartment, one time in the middle of the night, I woke up and I looked out the bedroom door, and I swear to God, I saw a human being like walking right across the door. 
it didn't scare me, but it was like, oh, weird. There's a person there. And it was, it could have been a ghost, but I'm just chalking it up to like, I was tired. I had something in my eye. Um, and then the only other time I think I saw a ghost was right after one of my, my friend's mother died. And like, I think it was either like a couple nights ago or something like that. I think I saw her standing in, our, in that same hallway. Um, but also, again, I can just chalk it up to something in my eye or I was tired or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very, very skeptical on ghosts for whatever reason. So, yeah. I so I don't have any I don't have anything scary. Um, nothing that's really terrified me. I mean, was sure when I was a kid. Like, do you remember the show uh, Ghost Rider? It was on like PBS or whatever. Do you know that show? Oh, that little ball. The little ball thing. No, not the Marvel. The ball. The little. Uh... It was like a little ball. I don't. It was like a Tinkerbell kind of thing, but like yeah, not. Yeah. It didn't talk or whatever. Like hung out on the internet or something like that. Yeah, that was weird. Um, but there was just. Writer, it was writer. 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 There was like this episode where there was like this purple, like bubblegum slime monster thing that had like a particular voice. Um, and I watched that episode and it wasn't scary, but I remember that night, um, I was probably like eight years old or something like that. I know for a fucking fact I heard that motherfucker's voice in my closet loud as can be. <laughs> and I just remember freezing and like covering myself in the blanket. Like I, that thing was in my closet. I'm, I'm positive. Ghost Rider. <laughs> Son of, that's creepy AF thing. Um, are you sure? I mean, yeah, you, when you were eight, you're really in the pot at that point. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, really fucked up all the time when I was eight years old. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your Wikipedia shows that you were a raging alcoholic at four. <laughs> Uh, you kind of slowed down at eight, but <laughs> what is Bobby going to say? Uh, is it true that nine out of ten doctors uh, agree that uh, and approve that choosy moms choose skiff? <laughs> <laughs> Good night. I think we uh, uh, got uh, TNA. <laughs> no. what, what, what kind of what kind of moms are we talking about here? <laughs> oh, the ones you could fuck. I mean, what? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Those moms, I love to pep on them. There you go. Hey, wait. New pinup line. MILFs! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Peggy Bundy. Yeah. Hey. Just 90s, just 90s chicks. Oh my god, it's bo it's all your. It's the pop like culture. Like 90s moms with the sexy with like oh, curves. We're just creating all this new work for you. <laughs> I like where this is going. I like where this is going. <laughs> Dude, and then they could be, then you turn them into NFTs and, and you call them 90s NFTs or 90s MILFs or NILFs. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, Peggy Bundy. Uh, I love no, it. Peggy Bundy. Um, Peggy from uh, King of the Hill. Uh, I, I, I I hate Peggy from King of the Hill is my my least favorite character in the history of all media. I fucking hate her so much. Yeah, everyone seems to scratch that. Uh, Marge Simpson, perhaps. <laughs> yes. Homie. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> so hot. So hot. So we're yeah. at the very end of the podcast. Where yeah. can everybody find? Mr. Matthew Skiff, your ass, your websites. Uh, where can they give you money? Where can they buy that NFT goodness? Baby. So, so social media, Instagram, Twitter, it'd be at Thew, T-H-E-W. And then my website is MatthewSkiff.com. And that's about it. There you go. Whoa. We have a partying gift for you, Matthew. A piece of the Calibri's iconic collection. There's seven Look different options. Nice. That's nine letters, baby. <laughs> nice. Check that out. That's like six dollars a letter. We got, we got baseball tees. We got ringers. We got this. We got that. Long sleeves. Long sleeves. Oh, and Look at um, that art. Who did that? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna send you this, and we're also gonna send you the obviously the one you 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 made. Awesome. Yeah. Are you are you like the uh? Are, do you you know how like bands they can't wear their own t-shirts or like you can't wear the t-shirt to the show are you like the same guy you can't wear your own artwork oh yeah that'll go that'll go into a band in the garage and then it'll be locked away forever <laughs> <laughs> you're like it's too embarrassing like oh that's a cool shirt who did it 
I did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever want to be in that position. I don't. I don't put my art on the wall. I don't wear my own art. I. I don't. I don't want to do that. He's modest. He's mm, modest. Very modest. So I yes, like I'll, I'll get your information later about that. Bing bada boom, and we have a sentiment. Skiff, you are our family. Anything you need, you need someone to beat beat up. You need some more ideas. You need some, uh, you know, uh, some ecto cooler. Bing bada boom. Maybe we yeah. can help you out. Um, yeah, there's a couple guys in Jersey we know who got a, a stock load of, you know, uh, that's cool. Uh, maybe a Instagram filter. I specialize in those. Bing bada boom. Yeah, um, one of them filters that gives you the big old. Yeah. <laughs> that work for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Thank you so much yeah. for coming on the Calibri's podcast, Mr. Skeff. Uh, yeah, everybody. Round of applause. Yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. It was fun. It was, it was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I'm